Hi Bookaholics and welcome back to another video. Today I am bringing you my top five magic systems. Now these are magic systems that I have read and really enjoyed. They are ne not necessarily in like favorite books, they're just magic systems that I think are really really innovative. I am going to start with the obvious one to get it over and done with and that would be Alamancy in the Mistborn series by Brandon Sanderson. I have read first era Mistborn and really really wanted to love it so badly and it was good like I didn't dislike it like whenever I talk about it I make it seem like I absolutely hated this series it's a good series it's just that I was hoping that this would be a new favorite like I've heard so much about it that it's absolutely amazing and I liked it but there were certain things that did not quite live up to my expectations so I was a little bit disappointed by certain aspects of this book mostly to do with the plot however one thing that everyone talks about when they talk about Mistborn that definitely pulled through for me was the magic system Alamancy is a magic system in this world and in this world it means that you ingest metals and it gives you different properties there is an entire glossary at the back about how the different um metals work so you have iron that pulls on nearby metals and steel that pushes on nearby metals tin that enhances the senses pewter which is enhan enhances your physical abilities brass which which soothes emotions zinc which riots emotions copper which hides your alamancy and bronze which reveals it so they are you know very specific um like metals that have very specific qualities to them and you ingest them and basically you can be an alamancer which means that you can your magic works with one specific metal or you can be a mistborn which basically means that you can ingest any of the metals because you have all of the powers and those are very rare but of course the protagonist has these powers because otherwise they wouldn't be the protagonist and um it goes from there i again i really did like the magic system so that is definitely something that i would say is really well done in here so also i'm in the minority so don't take my word for it when it comes to this series most people adore it um i just uh, i think the hype got to me a little bit with this one but the magic system i will concede is impeccable the next one i'm going to talk about is in the galactic milieu universe by uh, julian may i have here intervention which i haven't read yet i've read the saga of the pliocene exiles but my copies are a wall at the minute um so i'm holding up this one but basically this entire universe by julian may this is an extended universe that comprises of two series and a standalone the standalone being this one um and this is a world in which we are now living in space um we can we, ha we are part of the galactic milieu of other alien species and we interact with them etc um and there is essentially kind of this sort of glitch in uh the time space continuum which basically means that we can send humans back to pliocene earth but people you know, if they go through this hole they cannot come back because then they will age thousands upon thousands of years and they will die and like disintegrate into ash um, and we are following a group in, in the saga of the exiles. We're following a group of people who are either being sent to Pliocene earth because of crimes they have committed. So it's either being put to death or being sent back to Pliocene earth. And then we are also following groups of people who are wanting to go back to Pliocene earth, be it because they want a more, um, like basic, like almost like Amish lifestyle. Like they just want to go back to a kind of what they deem to be more peaceful time. Um, and we are also following people who are going back for other reasons and it's a very very interesting series I do have a dedicated review for it the review is not great it's the second review I ever did on the channel and at that point when I first started the channel I was just trying to kind of make videos to get used to making videos and I was hoping to get like feedback from people and stuff um, so it's not a great review I do have it I will link it um, a lot of saga of the exiles fans are really appreciative that i put it out there because not a lot of people have read the series um but there are definitely some decided mistakes because i didn't make notes to make the review with um i just kind of babbled and you can tell you can completely tell because i have so many mistakes in in the review so bear that in mind if you do go check it out but it is there and you know if you are interested then there's a sort of discussion on the series however we're talking magic systems and the magic system in this is described more as like a science because this is a sci-fi series and the magic system is called um 
metapsychic powers and in it you have different like psychic abilities so basically it's like we've gotten to the point where we can like unlock that part of our brain essentially you see this a lot in sci-fi um, and we have different abilities they have different names so you have things like creativity which is to create illusions or kind of shape um, people's energies and perceptions etc uh, there's coercion which is essentially mind control you have um, psychokinesis which is essentially telekinesis um, farseeing which is you can like communicate with or connect with another person no matter how far away you are um, you can kind of like you know talk with their minds it's like telepathy essentially essentially um then there's redaction which is like healing and you can heal someone's body or someone's brain although the latter is a little bit more skewed um you have uh there's so there's one that is kind of like seeing the future but i'm not sure exactly I've, I've i've not read any of the other books i'm hoping it'll get explained in the other books a bit more there's one where it's kind of like hinted at at seeing the future but again i'm not sure hopefully it'll come up in the newer series um and then the last one is dimension jumping which is essentially telepathy and there are only two characters in the original trilogy that in the original series sorry that can do so um i don't know if in the rest of the series there are more but it's very rare and yeah again it's kind of just, it's a hard magic system it's described more as a science than as a magic which i really really like and um, that's definitely something that i enjoy seeing is when it's kind of described in that way um and i think julia may did a really good job of setting it up and giving different people different abilities etc um there is also kind of a consequence on it where uh, you have two characters who are like incredibly powerful who basically begin to go a bit insane um and I think they were really well done and I, I enjoyed it and I would recommend this series if you've not checked it out already. The next one I have is Origini, which is in the fifth season and the Broken Earth series by N.K. Jemisin. And this one is essentially the control of natural disasters. So we are in a world where you have every now and then a fifth season. And this is basically just an influx of natural disasters, especially earthquakes. And then you have these uh, magic wielders who can control these earthquakes and they are frequently used against their will they do not have um, legal rights etc and um, they are frequently imprisoned etc and yeah I I really love the way that the magic system is done in here um, because it, at each book develops it a little bit more however this is a series that's very difficult to talk about so i'm not going to go too much in depth i do have a review for the series in case you want to check it out i'm not going to go too in depth with how the magic works because i do think that it's one of those that you do need to learn on the, on the go uh, you are thrown into this series knowing very very little about anything she does not hold your hand you just need to be along for the ride and figure stuff out as you go um but i do really like how the magic is so intrinsically tied into the social dynamics within this story and i think that it is done really well um and yeah the the protagonist that we have the way that she wields magic i found very fascinating the next one that I have here is The Poppy War by R.F. Kwong and the magic system in here is basically shamanism and in it you call down a god and the god comes kind of like into you essentially like into your body and you can wield its powers however the god is constantly trying to fight you to take over your body so that they then are in a phys can be in the physical realm so most people end up going insane. Um, in this one we are following a girl named Rin and um she doesn't really believe in shamanism however throughout the series we get it further and further explained she joins a group um who are called the ck which are like a group of assassins and um they have magical abilities and they all have kind of different takes on where the magic comes from not that they all know that it comes from gods but like its purpose or who should wield it and the morality and the ethics of it they all have kind of slightly different views on as well which i think is a fantastic discussion so yeah overall i think the magic system was handled really well and the discussion around the magic system is equally important when it comes to how much like would you be willing to surrender your mind in exchange for power uh, what circumstances would push you to do so um 
should people be able to wield these powers and what are the ethics of it etc i just think that it was an incredible discussion around power and who deserves it and who doesn't if anything and i, I think that it was done really well um also we have a slightly different magic that happens to a different character further down the series that we discover that was also incredibly fascinating and i think was really well done i won't go into that one because spoilers because it doesn't happen till book two but um i think it was really really well tackled so i would also recommend this series if you are wanting a slightly harder magic system that has genuine consequences and the last one is one that is kind of confusing and is a little bit more difficult to uh, fully understand the rules of. It's like it's nowhere near as hard as any of these other ones. But that would be the wit and the skill um, in the Realm of the Elderling series by Robin Hobb. The wit is uh, what's called beast magic and is in fact frowned upon by most people in this society. And the wit is the ability to communicate with and bond with animals. This magic is then developed upon extensively throughout the series um, and it's incredibly fascinating and the more and more you get to know the more interesting it becomes. Um, and then the other one that you have in here is the skill and the skill is a magic system that is based on uh, like mental psychological powers and this is um, a right that is reserved for the elite so it's mostly the royal line that are very strong with this magical ability so you have one that is frowned upon and can get you killed and the other one that is like a really high status and they are not hugely dissimilar in a lot of ways which i think is what robin Hood does really well so one is animal magic and one is human magic but they are very very similar in a lot of ways they're very different in other ways but they are very similar in some ways and i think it's really well done when discussing the social implications of the two different types of magic system um i think that it's one of those that you're going to constantly have questions about because even the characters when they're in the world have questions about it we also have elderlings which are these kind of magical beings that we also have kind of questions about the magic like is it one or the other is it a mix of the two is it its own separate thing so I have still having finished the series have quite a few questions about the magic system and I think that she intends to keep it that way so it's not anywhere near as clean cut and as like rule based as for example Sanderson is but I do think that it is done in a way that it still feels like a very very fleshed out magic system it feels very realistic in the sense of like you know if you lose information based on something then trying to reacquire that information will take years and years and I think that that's something that is is addressed really well in here so there's a lot of like you know social discussion that you get like for example in the fifth season then there's the structure of the magic system slightly like in um the mistborn series you have this kind of like whimsical otherworldly element to it that the poppy war has so if you like um innovative magic systems i definitely would give it a go it's also kind of similar in a way to the magic systems that you see in uh, a song of ice and fire the wit very much that resembles warging in certain ways um so there is that um but yeah, overall, definitely um, my favourite series of all time. So I'm going to hype this one up a lot anyway. But yeah, those are some magic systems that I have found really interesting and that I think have been really, really well utilised within the story. Um, in the sense of Sanderson, I think that is its key selling point. But with the others as well, I think that they have become intrinsical to the story, not just because, wow, magic, and that's what makes it fantasy, but because of the discussions it brings and because of the um, the the morality, the ethics, and, or, and the thematic um, addition that it brings to the story that I think is incredibly well-rounded and well-fleshed out. But that is it for me for today with this video. So let me know some of your favourite magic systems down below. I know that there are quite a few that are very popular that I've not mentioned. There will be the Lightbringer series by Brent Weeks that I've not read. And then there's the Stormlight Archive, of course, that I've not read. So I know that there are plenty that I haven't mentioned. But still, um, let me know some of your favourite magic systems in the, in the comments down below. In the description box, you'll find links to my Twitter, Instagram and Goodreads, as well as my blog and my playlist of just top five um videos so you can go check those out as well and um yeah give this video a thumbs up if you liked it subscribe if you've not already and hit the bell icon if you want to get notified every time i post a new video but that's all from me for today guys bye